This is a review of the Miticon or Zhongyi Optics 200mm f4 macro lens. Now why a 200mm macro lens? That was my first thought when I started using it. But over time I kind of understand why, but we'll come back to that later. I will be reviewing this lens on the magnificent Nikon Z8, but there are so many other lens mounts available, from Canon EF and RF, Nikon F and Z, Sony E, Fuji X and even L mount. As this lens is available on so many mounts, it means that it removes a lot of things, such as autofocus, inbuilt stabilisation and electronic contacts to the camera. This also makes it more affordable. Now this is a vintage feeling lens. It feels heavy, chunky, but quite nice in the hand. I really like this vintage look and feel. Plus, it is all metal. Even the lens hood is metal. There's not much to it. There's only two rings and a tripod collar. The focus ring feels tight, making for more accurate movements. Perfect for close focusing. And the aperture ring feels light, with a subtle click when turned. The tripod collar is a bit heavy, but can be easily removed like so. So, this is a 200mm macro telephoto lens. I say telephoto lens because of the minimum focus distance. The minimum focus distance is 48cm or 18 inches, with an actual working distance with about 24cm or 9.5 inches. This is quite different from other macro lenses, which pretty much require you to sit right on top of your subject, super close. To give you an idea of the distance from your subject when using this lens, I'm going to compare it with my two other macro lenses, the Nikon Z105 and the Lao 100mm 2 times magnification. So with the 200mm, you can see the minimum focus distance here, which still allows me to capture fantastic close-up details of this flower. Now the 105, getting a bit closer. And the 100 times 2 and as you can see, I'm right on top of my subject. Okay, so that's all well and good, but why and when would you use a macro telephoto lens like this? This is a specific use case lens, such as if you're photographing subjects that like to bite and sting, such as bees, wasps and snakes, or subjects that are easily startled. Having this extra distance while maintaining a one-to-one -one magnification is extremely helpful, especially for video. Now the image quality. I've been quite impressed with the images I've been able to capture with this lens. Colours are great, the sharpness is great. I found the sweet spot for sharpness to be around f11 and found that it gives the best results for centre and corner sharpness, which is what you want and where you want to be. As this is a vintage feeling lens, the bokeh is the same. It's something you don't get with modern lenses. Sun stars aren't very good, but you probably won't be doing too many with this lens anyway. So to sum up this lens with the good and the bad. The good, the minimal focus distance is super handy for certain situations. The image quality is great, it's sharp, and the colours are nice. I love the build, I love all the metal feel and the basic vintage manual handling. And it is also extremely affordable. The bad, it is heavy, it's tricky to handhold at 200mm to get accurate in-focus images. Using a tripod can solve this issue though but it takes a bit of time to get good at it. This is a nice lens suitable for unique use cases where you need to have distance from your subject, yet remain at a one-to-one -one magnification. Overall, I'd be happy to have this in my macro lens lineup. It's fun to use, but hard to master. So there you go, the Miticon Zhongyi 200mm f4 macro lens. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Cheers.